Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing an astrology reading with different decks this time, like the New Moon one that I did. If you haven't seen that one, you can go check that out. Um, I do want to say thank you to each and every one of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing and becoming part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. I appreciate all the donations and all the love. Thank you so, so much. All right, let's do your sun sign here. This is how you view yourself here. Courage, all right. So you have the courage to do what needs to be done here. What are you needing to do? What are we seeing you as here? Or how you're seeing yourself? Inner peace and courage. Wow, this is beautiful. Having that inner peace is so nice. Let's see. Protection. You have protection from spirit, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I like this. This is beautiful. Let's look at your moon, your emotions. Let's see how this is going for you. How are you feeling right now? Just pick one out. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. <laughs> okay. I like it. And we have, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So there you have it. Definitely needing to let go of some negativity here. And don't let somebody bring you back into that negative vibe or that lower energy okay have people rise to meet you and don't don't dim your light to fit in okay let's see let's look at your rising how others view you okay how are others viewing you Wow, let's see, what do we got here? We have the morning star, radiance. I shoot for the stars. Radiance is my birthright. Wow, sweet. So you're meant to shine, so don't dim that light of yours there. The mirror reflects. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me. There needs to be some self-love here. So you might be doing a bit of healing here. You might be doing the dark night of the soul and letting and releasing of all the baggage you've been maybe hauling around with you from, re um, from each relationship to relationship and hauling that baggage with you. It's time to let it go. We have the shining star glow. No longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's what it says because I just said that. Don't dim your light to fit in. Yes. Make sure you shine. Shine who and be happy about who you are. You're, you are who you are for a reason, a purpose. There's a meaning for you to have here on who you are. There's something you're meant to do here on this lifetime. So don't try to be something you're not. Be who you are. Okay, let's look at your Venus, your love. What do you have for Venus here? <laughs> Keep the faith. So keep the faith that Spirit's bringing something in for you, I feel. Let's see. Retirement. Wow. And let's pull one more out here. So maybe you're getting, you don't want to work anymore. Maybe you want to retire. Let's see. Healing from the past. And we have that past here. So this might be something you're needing to retire um, the past here. It may not be retirement from a job. It may be to retire whatever's holding you back from your past. Letting it go. Okay? Keeping the faith that Spirit's going to bring something new in for you. Okay? Let us look at your luck. Your Jupiter... 
right. We have Angel of Balance, and then we have <laughs> Storm Warning. And what I'm feeling with this, um, with the 10 here, there's an ending here. Storm Warning, somebody's coming in to knock you off of your balance here. I feel with the Angel of Balance, um, this reminds me of the Temperance card. And with the Temperance, it's like staying calm, cool, and collective collected in um, a stressful situation. So I feel like whatever storm this past person may be coming back around with, I feel like you are, Spirit's asking you to stay calm and cool and collected. And don't let them rattle your feathers, okay? We have, um, 12 which breaks down to a 3 so 1003 might be um, something to look up for angel numbers or 1048 and those might have other messages in for you for that and then we have indecision number 8 so <laughs> You may have to choose between two people. There may be somebody from the past that you're needing to let go of or heal something from your past. Retire that idea or thought of somebody coming back around or somebody you might be hanging on to. Okay? Let's, and there might be somebody new coming in for you. Let's see. What's your palace, your relationships like? What's your relationships like? Calling in your soulmate. Okay, so maybe it's time to call in your true soulmate and ask spirit to bring you in your true soulmate that you're meant to be with. And there might be somebody new here coming in for you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So there might be somebody here that you might end up with that has children already, or maybe you do. Okay? So, but children will be a factor when it comes to this. So let's see here. What are we going to do next? Let's do your Juno next. And that's the outside influences, whatever influences you. What is influencing you at this time, Spirit, for the collective? What is influencing the collective at this time? Mmm, chaos and conflict. Oh, man. What? <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Oh, you might be going through something right now. And this could be the dark night of the soul here. Having to let go of that baggage. And this is going to bring you some inner peace. So have courage that this is what's meant to happen here. Let's see. Flexible. Okay. So you might need to be flexible on something here. We have 33, which is a master number, and 19, and those numbers might be worth looking up. Oh, yeah, see, you're going to have an indecision, there's an indecision, and it's got the fork in the road on this card, and then we have the actual fork on the road, in the road here as well, so we have it here and here. So you're going to have to make a decision on which direction to go. Okay? And we have contract underneath. So depending on whatever way you decide, what's underneath this one? Exchanging gifts. So depending on which road you go down, <laughs> it's going to determine a lot here. Um, it may end up being a contract or it could be that somebody's exchanging gifts with you. So, depending on which road you go down, but regardless, there's always lessons to be learned here. So, no matter which road you go, there is always a, a lesson coming in. 
So, and I mean, that's just life, right? Some can be detrimental, and that's one way you're definitely going to learn. And others can be very pleasant and surprising, right? So let's look at your midheaven, your career here. Your midheaven for your career. Ooh. Okay. Let go, yeah. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So you may need to walk away from somebody because you have to know your worth, right? And it says trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So you may have something in divination that you may end up doing. Um, you might have sight here or something along those lines. Let's see. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. So you're meant to shine. I feel like just being in your energy can be healing for people. So don't dim that light, okay? Let's see what your ancestors want to tell you. Your past over loved ones. You're a moon J Coley here. Completion, full moon. So I feel like there's some type of something that's going to be completed once the next full moon comes in for you. You'll be finished a cycle of some sort here. What else do we have? We have perspective, Milky Way. So you might need to see something in that maybe you weren't really seeing in a certain way. And I feel like whatever it is, you're going to get the picture real quick here. Let's see, synergy. Okay, this is what I said. There was something that maybe you're meant to do with somebody here. And synergy um, means that one of you brings something to the table, the other person brings something together um, together with you, and whatever you have for a gift and they have for a gift, putting it together brings out a whole nother gift. So say so you can sing and this other person produces and together you make a record, okay? So that kind of thing, right? All right. Let's see. Let's look at what your current life is right now. Your north node. What's your north node for the collective, please, spirit? What's their north node for the collective? We have toil and labor. So right now I feel like you are kind of plugging away here at what you're meant to be doing. And that's number 11. So I feel like, and that's a master number. So you might have ascended masters that are helping guide you here. Um, I feel like whatever you're doing at this point, um, you may be retiring from that. You might be taking some type of break from work or I feel like you're healing from the past. I feel like you might end up changing things here for yourself. What do we have? You're going to get a message. Number seven. Seven eleven. <laughs> and what's on the bottom of the deck? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> Great fortune. What? <laughs> and we have number eight here. Wow, okay. <laughs> so your current life, um, you may be plugging away doing whatever you're doing for work. You're going to get some type of message that you have some great fortune coming in for you. Spirit's bringing something in for you. And I feel like it has to do with wealth. Let's see here. <laughs> What is your wealth? Let's look at your fortune here. What's your fortune coming in for you? Your wealth for the collective. Keys on a ring. Wow, many options, decisions, unconventional, stringing along in one night stand. So like I said before, there's going to be some indecisions. I feel like one is going to be your soulmate that you've called in 
they may end up having children or it's going to be somebody that's kind of a storm warning somebody that you're gonna to have to we're, um, I kind of feel like somebody from your past and it may be somebody you have children with or your soulmate you may end up having um, children with so take a however it resonates for you so let's see what else we have for the fortune coming in for you so this may be something um, that you might have to, as a warning here, watch out for. It might just be to get you in bed. So yeah, <laughs> not today. <laughs> so um, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, or person. You have your boundaries and you are, may even still be angry at this person, especially if they've done you dirty. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. The butterfly, there's some transformation here. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing your inner child and growth. And that, that is loving yourself. That is your self-worth, okay? And this is wealth for you right now. Your fortune right now is telling you it, it is within yourself having that self-love is going to make you more attractive to people having that confidence and the love for yourself having standards and having people stay within those boundaries and if they don't you let them go you walk away you have self-respect for yourself okay you're not going to let somebody cheat on you or do you dirty um I feel like this is something that maybe there was some codependency here somewhere along the line here. And if you don't know what codependency is, you need to look that up because you may not even realize that you are codependent. Um, it will tell you of some of the behavior issues that you may have and you may not realize that you are codependent, okay? Or maybe you're coming out of that or maybe you know about that. Maybe you're dealing with that. So this is about being by yourself and being good with who you are by yourself, not needing anyone else, okay? And knowing that you can live your life just fine all on your own. You did it before anyone came into your life and you'll do it again. And I feel like you're, you'll be okay, you know? So let's, you gotta have that courage. So let's see what Spirit has for advice for you. What's the advice for the collective, please, Spirit? What's the advice for the collective here, please? Any other advice? Okay. So Spirit's bringing in some peace here. Archangel Shamel, peace comes from remembering that you love, that, sorry, I'll say that again. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Okay, so love is the highest frequency there is. Oh, creative writing. So perhaps you write songs or maybe you're a songwriter or maybe you are a journalist or maybe you have some type of creative writing that you do and perhaps this person you're going to meet with this synergy here, the green man, they may be the person that um, publishes your book okay and then so what happens is that you're going to bring something to the table they're going to bring something to the table and together you're going to do something that makes another product from whatever you bring and they bring right so archangel gabriel make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book wow okay so this might be some way of having some peace within. Maybe this is what you like to do in your free time or um, maybe you've been putting this off for a long time. I'm gonna write it, I'm gonna write it and never have the time to write it. And I feel like Spirit's kind of urging you maybe to change some things in your life to really do the things you want to do. We only get one life, right? And who are you going to live it for? Everybody else or for yourself? 
Is there anything you really wanted to do in your life? And if you don't know, maybe take the time to think it through and see what you really want for yourself, okay? So on the bottom of the deck, we have chakra clearing. So perhaps this is what you will do next. And maybe this is what you'll do for your creative writing, is writing a book on how to clear your chakras. Whatever you end up doing, I feel like this is gonna help you clear your own. Once you realize how to do that, then I feel like you may even write about it. And this is gonna bring a lot of peace to others as well. So Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric, um, geometric shapes, sorry sacred geometric shapes wow so this is kind of telling you what you need to do in order to clear your chakras you need to call on archangel metatron and um using sacred geometric uh geometric shapes i almost said it again <laughs> in order to clear your chakras so i see the picture there with the geometric shapes up top there so that's pretty cool. So this way you're going to learn a bit about spirituality as well, I feel, um, if it is the route you end up going. And I feel like, wasn't it your, walk away from situations in order to resolve it, letting go, and trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So it, you've got free will here on what, it's not destined, it's whatever you choose. Of course it is destined, but I feel like it's your choice and whatever you choose is whatever is destined. <laughs> but you may not know what your destiny is until you choose it. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. So whatever you choose, it's going to help bring peace. It may be through your writing. Maybe you do poems. Maybe you write a TV show. Maybe you do whatever you do for, maybe you do a newspaper or, I don't know, whatever creative writing that you'd be doing. But you're gonna know you're you're gonna have that idea i feel like if you don't know spirit may even download that for you so you have an idea of where you're supposed to head so wow you're gonna be calling in your soulmate i love that so and whatever this one night stand is i feel like you're going to see that coming a mile away you may at first be undecisive about which way to go and I feel like whatever the storm warning is, you're you're gonna have to stay balanced, and that's spirit trying to say, keep your calm, cool, and be collected here. It's like that temperance angel being um, calm in a stressful situation. So wow, this is beautiful collective. I hope you enjoyed your reading. So please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you do want to donate to the channel, there is a PayPal account in the description box below. You just click on that link and it will take you to the PayPal page where you can donate. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we will see y'all next time. All right, later.